Water, of course, is a key element to life. So every mayor has to be concerned with the environmental impact that the delivery of their water makes on the city where they live, the region, and the Great Lakes. And it all starts with your source water, and to the extent that you can protect the sources of water by means of reducing emissions from sources of energy that generate a whole suite of pollutants. Because it's hard to be that close to the waters and not focusing on how much energy it takes to deliver water, clean water, without contamination of the Great Lakes. That's your water energy nexus. In the Great Lakes region, we have very pristine drinking water, but keep in mind that what we're drinking has already been treated extensively before it arrives in our tap. A lot of energy has to go into that process, and that energy produces emissions. And the emissions then have the potential for contaminating that very drinking water source that we are then pushing through the treatment system and through the pumps to get to our homes. And that's the interrelated energy water nexus. And so we came up with some good technologies that could significantly reduce emissions by looking at data from a variety of websites. And with that, we get the emissions that are being created due to energy use at any particular point. What we're pushing are emission reductions and we're providing information to the water utilities so that they can use that information to help decide their operation of pumps or filter backwash or any flexible energy process in their facility. And so we came up with the idea that having a water utility energy challenge where a variety of utilities in different parts of the Great Lakes Basin would use this technology, we would compare their progress to each other in a variety of metrics. And as it turns out, all our winners, because all our reducing emissions from the baseline situation, we're impacting the air quality and the water quality. We're also impacting in the long run, the efficiency of the system, which will impact the cost of water. What attracted me to the Water Utility Energy Challenge was the opportunity to create emissions footprint and minimize our impact over time. And we chose using the filter washing process because there's a lot of flexibility in scheduling. And what we found through the challenge when comparing the same periods from year to year is that not only did the challenge point us in the direction of lower emissions, but we also experienced lower megawatt hours consumed. The health of the population is inextricably linked to the health of the Great Lakes. And anything that we can do to reduce the dependency on dirty sources of energy and substitute that with the green energy sources will have an impact on the lakes and the health of the people who depend on that water. And in fact, this nexus of water and energy that we're just beginning to explore and understand is a critically important issue of water quality in our Great Lakes. And the Water Utility Energy Challenge is going to really find resonance uh, among the mayors of the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Cities Initiative. It's a great springboard for taking this technology to scale and begin driving improvement in our water utilities. So this project is taking advantage of the interconnected nature of the electric grid and the water grid to reshape how first humans, but then more importantly, how machines can make choices in very small time steps with a lot of data behind them so that the timing of those operations is matched to the timing and availability of clean energy and that those operations won't occur when the energy available is dirty. Emissions can fall 20, 25% just by small shifts in that operating profile of equipment by choosing the clean times and avoiding the dirty times. It's really important for the Great Lakes when that is persistent bioaccumulative toxic pollutant like mercury. So every pound of mercury we can take out of this system is a pound that won't appear in fish that people eat. So it's a big deal for the Great Lakes to get this right. 
The American Water Works Association's mission is to provide safe and clean drinking water. And so clearly when you look at the tens of millions of people who get their drinking water from Great Lakes, and the link between air depositions and water quality is pretty clear. So source water protection is at the heart of providing clean potable water. And I think the genius of this project comes from actually getting it done. And certainly an academic institution like Wayne State brings tremendous capabilities, but likewise AWWA brings practical experience that can mesh well with the researchers and the uh, entrepreneurs of the Great Lakes Protection Fund. And as part of working with the American Water Works Association, this also gives us a venue to work with utilities beyond the Great Lakes and to increase sustainability of the energy water nexus in ways that can benefit the entire nation and actually the entire world.